Hi, I just told you he's not racist. That's my answer. Well, that is racism. It's really not. Did say, you come up in the left wing education system? Please don't understand. Uh, uh, exp mansplain it to me. Please don't left explain it to me because I'm tired of this model. Don't swear at me. Who are you swearing at? What? How is me talking about Islam? This what? Look at the state of you. You might need to smoke some crack. man called Navtal and said to everybody who was in the hearing distance, if you want to see what Iblis looks like, Shaitan, look at, check out this black man with red cheeks and curly hair. Who was he? He was a man that Mohammed didn't like, obviously. Why didn't he like him? I have no idea. What does, so what does that matter? He didn't say he liked Navtal, he said he looks like Navtal. Because Navtal was an evil person. So if I'm evil, do I look like a... Uh, Brother, brother. It can be, be behind you. Anyway, it's all getting a bit. Who are you fronting? Hey, love, don't make, don't make yourself like that. I haven't put my hands on nothing. What's he got to do with you? Is that right? You sound like you're a slave. Okay. You sound like you're a slave. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. How am I a liar? I haven't made an assertion. You can't defend yourself. The government can't tell you the same question you ask. Mohammed is a racist. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, he said raisin heads for Somalians. You know what I mean? That's not it. Come on, if someone said that nowadays, they'd be too fat. Hey, what's it got to do with what's, what's Christianity got to do with Mohammed? Nothing. No, point is, point is, point is, point is, point is, but you don't know the Bible has. I know the Bible very well, thank you. I'm a Christian evangelist, but I won't speak about Christianity because I'm talking about the prophet Mohammed. And you can deflect me onto Christianity as well. But what I'm asking you to, what I'm asking you to clarify. For me. What I'm asking you to clarify for me is what I'm asking you to clarify for me is whether Mohammed made derogatory comments about Somalians or Ethiopians, sorry, and called them raising heads. No, no, sorry, I'm asking again, yeah, whatever, it's not Ethiopian. Ethiopian raising heads. You can't ask I'm going to find it. He said it. You can check it out after. So what? So what? It doesn't matter. I don't know. You better ask him. He said it. Is there any other religion? Is there any other religion than Islam that says that no, no one is more superior? No, black or white? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Christianity, Christianity says in Christ, you can pull it up on your own phone, in Christ there is neither Jew nor Gentile, meaning the religious distinction. There is neither a slave or free man and there is neither male nor female, meaning the hierarchy. It's in the Jew or Gentile, that's the distinction of race. Jew, gen sorry, Gentile is everybody else. So there's a distinction, there is no hierarchy of one is better than the other in Christ. So I've answered this question. You said there's no hierarchy. For yes. example, in America, right? You'll have different types of Who's you all? I'm not American. I know, but even in the UK, different, everyone goes to a different type Sorry, of Sorry, let me just come back to this gentleman. Excuse me. Right, so um, Alice Messenger said you should listen to and obey your ruler, even if he was an Ethiopian, in brackets, black slave whose head looks like a raisin. Sorry, the English. It says obey him even if he's black, as if black is not good, as if you need telling. No, back in the days, the Arabs were racist. But it wasn't only blacks who were slaves. In, in Mohammed's time, no, it wasn't. Yes, most of them. Most of them. And Mohammed had a black slave, didn't he? Yes, and he freed him. No, he didn't. He gave the black slave. Bilal was freed, but brought Bilal was given. He swapped him for two. He gave two black slaves for one non-black slave. 
honour of being the first man to lift the court in prayer. And did he have no other black slaves? No, but he was given honour. Did he have no other black slaves? Why would he give a black man honour? You do realise... Because he was his favourite slave. Do you realise the Prophet Muhammad He didn't do stiff for no reason. He did it for a message. Is it? The same reason why he gave Bilal that honour. I thought he did everything at the will of Allah. No, no, but there's a reason. I didn't think he had his own reason. Oh, it's for political. So why are there still blacks in slavery? In slavery in Islam today, and women no correlation to the in Islamic countries, what people are in doing Sharia, today, what people are doing today, Sh you're saying Sharia has nothing today. to do with Islam. What people are doing today, it's not what to people are yeah. doing today. Yeah where imams are, um, you know, instrumental in uh, di giving out what's good and what's not good in terms of... Excuse me, I haven't finished my point, though. I don't know how you're going to answer my point when I haven't finished it. You haven't let me finish. So, slavery... OK. I don't know how you're going to answer my point when I haven't finished it. You haven't let me finish. So, slavery... OK. He doesn't want to know. He's not interested. The point is that Sharia is not divorced from Islam. If it is, those people should be dealt with by the vast majority of Muslims in an Islamic Republic, like Pakistan, for example, or any of them, Saudi Arabia, or excuse me, sir, or any of those countries that are proudly Islamic. Are they using a religious book? Are other Chinese using a religious book to persecute Muslims or Christians? The difference is, I tell you the difference. No, because if it's in your scripture, you can call to Allah to say this is why it's permissible. That is what Sharia is. It's a justification and a condemnation. Nation, depending on the Quran, that, I'm yeah. not just you saying it. I know what I'm talking about. You clearly don't. No, I'm not. You clearly don't. I'm a Christian, and I understand that China is persecuting. Excuse me, China. Uh, I will come to you. China is persecuting Christians. Also, I know. I know. I deal with Christian persecution all day long. But what I will say is that Xi Jinping or the CCP cannot go. It's in my scripture. They can't say that. You can. You're just saying these things. I'm not. I've given you evidence of everything I've said so you far. Show me reason, Ed. I showed you that. You asked me, is there any other religion yeah. that says there's no distinction? I showed you that. You haven't shown me any evidence of your claims. Okay. Uh, I've lost my phone, unfortunately. Uh, the guy who I could have used this phone. And no one else, all these young men dressed quite snazzily, has a mobile phone on them. Can you believe it? I'm real. Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I believe it. So anyway, the point is that Sharia does um, legislate for all aspects of life. It depends on which school of uh, Sharia you adhere to, if you're Shia, if you're Sunni, if you're whatever. But the fact is that slavery exists not in all Islamic countries, but it exists and it exists unimpeded by the state. The point you're making is that because a religion teaches you to do that, and whereas if someone does it from their free will, it almost dampens it. You're saying that if your religion teaches you it, it's worse compared to if you do it all. I just find it a cheat because I believe in the one true God, and I find that if a rapist stands there, for example, in a courtroom, you, you know who you, know who, you started saying right? Uh, yeah, uh, the Bible, listen, if you know no history. Slavery. It does, and it says, set your servant free after six years and pay them. And if they are a Christian, treat them as a brother. Don't think I don't know the Bible. Do they? Do they really? But do they let them go after six years? No, they don't, because they don't have the Bible. What? Hang on. What's a slave? We're up to what's a slave? We're going philosophical. A slave is a chattel. A slave is your property. Sorry. Sorry, I'm coming back to you. I know what the Bible says about servitude. Yep. Ephesians 3, 5 to 8, Paul states that slaves be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling. That's it. No, no, no. Let me ask you. After Christ, this is all. Instructing to slaves to obey their master. Excellent. And similar statements also read. Surely, no, don't read me the Bible. Don't read me the Bible. Let me answer. Before Colossians, let me answer Ephesians. Yeah, yeah. Paul is speaking to Christians who are slaves. He says, slaves, obey your masters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paul is speaking to Christians who are slaves. He says, slaves, denoting who he's talking to. Obey your masters. So he's saying, don't be rebellious. You know, God is suffering. Exactly what you said. But it's not saying take slaves. It's saying Christians who are slaves, respect your 
Yeah, exactly, 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 yeah, ex
If you want to just, no one cares? Okay. So I, don't know. Well, well, I wouldn't understand it even well, if I read it. Well, it, says. it says that the prophet said, I looked, no, I didn't bring you Sunnah.com, I bought you What's the Sahih Bakari. You, the you, you think the Sunnah.com is lying about Bakari? Ah, okay. It's weak. You know what? It's, it's, it's Sahih, but your argument is weak. I'm not lying. You're saying that your Muslim sources are lying. Bro, could you find this hadith somewhere else? Yes, I can. It's book 57, hadith 132, Sahih al Bakari. Yes, sure. Bakari 5198. Anyway, and what it says for this gentleman who's not actually that bothered is the Prophet said, I looked at paradise and saw that the majority of its residents were the poor. And I looked at the, in brackets, hell fire and saw that the majority of its residents were women. Yes. He came and asked me for uh, evidence. What were you using that as evidence It was his conversation with some other ladies. His conversation with somebody else. I'm not using it as evidence in that. No, I'm just proving that I don't just pull out hadiths because I don't need to make them up. They're silly enough as it is. For the women think, I've no idea. He, this guy was debating two Christians. Oh, no, I don't need, no, no, it's all right, bro. I don't need any exegesis from a human being in 2021. Sahih Bakari didn't have your wisdom at the time that he said it's Sahih. So I can understand plain communication. Excellent. Brilliant. It's not my debate, bro. He was talking to women over there i don't need the context because it's not my debate That's quite it's not my debate excellent i understand what you're saying no i never need a bystander i can go to the commentaries and the texts here if i want to or i can go to you know the the explanations do yes in which Sorry, everyone. Yes. That doesn't make sense. Yes. That doesn't, that doesn't really prove as well. Why? Uh, Should we get the context? <laughs> Can you get up Jesus calling a woman a dog for me? The verse. I think it's Matthew. Don't know. At the end, really at the very end, Jesus didn't have any sex slaves, he didn't get married, he didn't go to war, he didn't take uh, captives, he didn't slaughter whole villages really? of people. Yes, really, I'm a hundred percent positive, and it is all right. Sorry? Uh, no, not in his entirety. No, he's the second person of the triune God. So when did he entirely become God? He didn't ever entirely become so God he because he's a hundred percent God, but he is the second person of the triune yeah, God. So he was the God of the Son of God. No, because the Father and the Holy Spirit are also in the triune nature so of the God Father, of the Old the Testament. Of the Holy Spirit, are God of the Old are Yahweh? Yes. Okay, so he was part of the triune God. That ordered sure, he's the Word. Yeah. So when they ordered genocide, ordered taking of slaves. And now, can I tell you what it was ordered for? And it was a one time deal unlike one Islamic time, so excuse me once the genocide once uh, oh, do, uh, let me ask you do all souls belong to Allah souls do they all belong to Allah can he guide who he guides and misguide who he misguides he does do that so he, I'm glad you said yes so that, excuse me but I haven't even finished my point again so the point is if all lives or souls belong to God we'll say Yahweh he can deem that the treatment of his chosen and they're chosen in the Quran as well the, the Bini Israel then he can choose if someone if, if they are sinned against he can take retribution however he right, likes because he is God well unlike the flood with Allah you mean You're not really addressing it, so I yes. am yes he can so yes so yes so and it's a, like I said, it's a one-time deal. It's not fight the unbeliever until there is no more fitna. Yes, because once the Amicalites are dead, there is no more wipe so out the Amicalites. So, so wait, hold on. You're condoning killing babies, but then but ordering by another human being to be killed. Okay, I'm going to take a baby soul, right, for example. And they might not go to heaven according to Muhammad. I am letting you speak. Yeah, that's what he said to Aisha. Can I explain? When a baby, for example, is taken on a miscarriage on the flood, Yep. That's different than when God yeah, says to his no, other souls, go murder babies. Okay, yeah? so what, yeah. all right, so fight the unbeliever and fight them until they... Yeah, not babies. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. The babies aren't believers. Babies cannot be unbelievers. They can be because Muhammad said to Aisha that they won't necessarily go to heaven. Yeah, that Muhammad. Yeah, exactly. He said that. 
Sorry. Sure, yeah, tell me how that's justifiable. So, to be honest, yeah. it seems like you're not really addressing my points. Yeah. To me, you, I feel like I'm answering them. You condemned this letter for did fighting I? the unbelievers. Where did I condemn it? Well, so, so I was answering you. Well. I said Jesus didn't wage any war, and you said you see oh, this. Jesus was the older the God of the I've already answered Which you, and that's incorrect. Jesus, Your position is incorrect theologically, according to Christian doctrine and Jewish doctrine. So, so you need to come again with a better rephrasing. Like this, yeah, so uh, no, no, I can get the complex. You need to simplify in terms of uh, correlation with reality. Only if you don't claim that Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sure. And he is part of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the second person. He's heads. not part of the Holy Spirit. No, he's, no, he's part, part of the, the Godhead. Trinity. So he's yep. splitting heads. No, I'm not. Okay. It's a very different thing. The Trinity thing. Was, was the God of the Old Testament. Uh, we've already done that. We've already done that. He doesn't mind babies dying in the flood of Isala. Can you, like, relax? I can relax no, but, completely, but yeah. God did the same Brother. thing when he I know, started. I know, oh. I know. Our point is oh, my point. Hallelujah! Oh, I'm son of running. God! Brilliant. I'm Messiah! Nice my point was, and, uh, this gentleman's point was, uh, something in the Old Testament when God um, ordered the destruction of a certain people. And my counter was, um, once, sorry, 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 once that people is wiped out, that is not an eternal command. Whereas Allah says it is prescribed for you to fight. And you will fight whether you so want to or not until there is no ISIS more. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm anyway, I'm just going to ignore uh, this guy same. because he's trying ISIS to deflect me. <laughs> Bro, I'm not a Jew. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this young lady. So the point is it's fine that... one God order oh, and genocide. Sorry, I uh, sometimes my nicotine levels drop. So the point... No, no, sorry, let me just answer this lady. So the point is that if means till the end of time because Allah has also said no I'm not taking no, it you are. I'm not Come I'm on, ignoring you, know. you now. Yeah. So the point is that until there is no more unbelief. Right, oh. and, and yet Allah says he will make the followers of Isa, who are Christians and therefore Nijus, the worst of all creatures, according to a different verse, he will make them superior until the judgment day. And he will give Israel to the Israelites until the promise of the judgment has come. And this is that's uh, the night journey, uh, 100 to 105. So, Surah 15, 100 to 105. So, there's my evidence. So, go away and read it. Don't embarrass yourself. So, that's my point. One time deals are one time deals. And I'm a Christian, so I don't have to follow those. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm speaking to this young lady. I don't have to. Fo I don't have to. Fo because I'm surrounded, mate. Yeah, so I. Thank you. Anyway, to the camera. Anyway, so the point is that uh, we, as Christians, don't have to listen to any commands of the Old Testament. Yes, I am. My hair is my glory. Read the Bible. I'm not in a church. I'm not prophesying, and I'm not. Pro yes, show me, and then when you get to the bit. Where it's, where it's, I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. Preaching, exegeting, ex ex uh, explaining. The di you don't know the difference. Well, Muhammad had no prophecies, so there you go. No, I'm in the middle of a gentleman with this. Have you got it? You're going to feel Jesus calling a woman God. Oh, shucks. I don't know. You love, you love victimization. Yeah, you are a victim. You must be. You must be a victim. What hate speech against who? How am I hating anyone? Muhammad, I didn't start this conversation. I Is it? I feel, I feel very ashamed, except I don't. Yeah, the woman, dog, sorry. I, yeah, I know, but my thumbprint doesn't work on the phone. Jesus called you a dog, anyway. He didn't call me a dog, love. 26. He didn't? Uh, okay, dokie. 26. Right, so Jesus did not answer a word. So he's, yeah, I'm coming from before, mate. He's down here. Jesus didn't answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him to send her. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, no, Okay. So he said, I was, look, I don't right. So first of all, he's saying, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah. Although he counters that at another point. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. Yeah. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dog. So he's not put, wait. Yeah, you're a dog. Wait. Bro. That's what he says. Oh, yeah, why don't you chill out, mate? No, seriously, why don't you chill out, though? Why call that a dog? Who's talking to you? I'm speaking yeah, to this guy. Anyway, yeah, I've got to because it's just. Yeah, uh, dogs, all that? Gentiles, they're Can dogs, according to them. I've got to swear now, according to the Can Jew. you believe this nonsense? Let, 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 like he's going to prove anything to no, me. That's anyway, clear, so what he's, what he's saying clear is that the children, like them. the children of the promise, the children of God, and then... Well, in, in your own home, if you were allowed to have a dog, obviously you're almost in If you've got a dog, if you've got a dog, Mohammed said so, right? Let me give you my. Well, I haven't even got to the end of the verse. But, okay, so, and he actually says to her, her personally, woman, 
you have great faith your request is granted. I agree. So therefore he's not insulting her, he's actually bringing her into this promise. But the, ref, the analogy, because he uses parables, etc., of crumbs going onto the floor, even, there's you another one. the dogs in the analogy? Um, those are yeah. not children of God. So the, the Gentiles. At the that Gentiles point, yes, because the resurrection yeah. so Non-Jews are dogs. dogs yeah. But this is pre-resurrection, you understand. So it's fine for him to be racist before pre-resurrection. He's not racist. That's it racist. Is. He's God. It if I is. say, for example, that, um, but, that's racist. But God gave the... Say, Allah gave... As I said to this, no, right? No, 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 I, I just told you, he's not racist. That's my answer. Well, that is racist. It's really not. Did you, did you come up in a left-wing education example, system? Please don't understand. Uh, mansplain it to me. Please don't left explain it to me. Because I'm tired of this model. Don't swear at me. Who are you swearing at? What? How is me talking about Islam? This what? Look at the state of you. You might need to smoke some crack. Is that right? Do you want to put the camera? Hang on a minute. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there because none of, not one of you can control your own Muslim brothers. So anyway, well, you stood there. Let her preach. Let her preach. Do you know Oh well, then maybe I missed it while I was being called a crackhead. So anyway, if I was a black person, yeah. I asked you asked me for food because you might be starving. Let's hope that never happens. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not right to take the food and throw it to the dogs. I understand. You, I think this is where you're clear, like misunderstanding is it's spiritual food. So she is asking Jesus to speak with her about oh, such yeah. and he attributes yeah. to her faith. He says you are a, you have great faith because she trusts in what he says. So it's spiritual food because there is another verse that pearls before swine is not real swine. It means riches before dirty animals. So the dogs in this, please listen to me because I'm kind of losing like the will to be on this video. And in John 3 16, he says he desires that none should perish. He sent his son into the world for, for all, so that no one will be though in that position of those spiritually like unclean animals. The problem is, in this context, when he says, Sorry, I, am, everyone. I am only sent to the lost sheep on the Israel. Yeah, he also on says, I'm counting that, that verse for you so, right now. So was he sent I'm counting the, the, the verse. He the was sent to the to Israel but he is the perfect Israel and he then said there are other sheep not of this flock who know my voice and they will be wait you've got to read all of his words they will be we are adopted into Israel as Christians through the blood of Christ because he is the faithful Israel Gentles are not really addressing what I'm saying I am in the specific verse ah without context I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel sure I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel he is not Israelite yes he calls her a dog Maybe no he doesn't call her a dog he talks about dogs in the analogy she is a dog right she's one of the dogs yeah yes but he's not saying you're a dog because she's a gentleman yes because I say it in yes yes because it's the opposite of a child the children of Israel yeah but she's still a dog because of her descent is it but he then two sentences later and not even his own sentences and he blessed her by condescending oh here you go oh well there you go then it's proven all right great great chat thank you I've got to do a wrap up now I can't I'll just go around in circles take that time for cigar so any yes amen so anyway I'm sorry about that everybody so um yeah when i've mentioned the spirit of antichrist um i don't attribute it to that gentleman uh obviously but there is like it seems to me a willful um a deliberate attempt not to understand whereas when i look at the hadith and when i look at the quran i do go to the tafsir and i do go to different religious schools to find out what the context is and it's very important as i said the other night on the live stream to look at the context the historical context of where these verses are delivered because earlier on obviously if paul is speaking into the social uh, status of christian slaves then that's one thing he's not saying to them pick up your stuff and go and be a slave the bible says the opposite it tells uh, even a slave master if you're a christian and your servant rather than slave because they can go after six years if you pay them unless they don't want to go which doesn't seem to me like utter destitute servitude then you should treat them as a brother these hierarchies are redundant male and female there is no one above the other unless it's your husband obviously or your father
but that's it. There's no random man on the street who's a Christian who has to outrank me in terms of um, Christ tore down the uh, curtain even so that we go into the Holy of Holies. He is our Holy of Holies. We are a royal priesthood, and, excuse me, and therefore um, we are to keep all things holy. And that's difficult in the face of um, just willful ignorance. I don't know how to put it more charitably, but we love Muslims and therefore we do stand and get called all sorts of silliness by people who don't have any theological arguments because when you have to resort to insults, it means you have no foundation for your uh, your propositions so that being said please like share subscribe comment do all the good stuff pray for muslims at the park please pray for us also that the fruits of the spirit would be slightly more evident than they are at the moment in me and um yeah i'll see you later bye bye